Hey, what is up, Flavor Family? Hello. It is my buddy Vincenzo and Bobby coming at you live from Sydney on Australia. Friday night on a 10 o'clock. Some people might be out partying, hitting Bondi Beach right now, but no, Vincenzo Drinking. and I are in Cole's grocery store to do a healthy haul. There is nobody around, only us on a Friday night. That's right, because we, we are need, the craziest on YouTube. Yeah, we That's need why. the lay of the land to ourselves to go around here, check out some healthy groceries that you might want to scoop here and a few you might want to stay away yeah. from. But now let's go do the Coles haul. We're doing this for you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Vincenzo and I are excited about this aisle because kangaroo meat, you guys. Look kangaroo at this. meat. <laughs> kangaroo burgers, which is super cool because look at that. 98% fat free, so very, very lean. And what's that over there? That's a bengas. So, <laughs> so instead of bengas and mash, it's kangaroo bengas? <laughs> kangaroo sausages. So, isn't kangaroos here actually very, very prevalent and they actually have to uh, keep them under control yeah. by slaughtering them? There right? are way so many, so, so many kangaroos in Australia that we need to eat them. You gotta eat them. <laughs> so you could also get diced kangaroo here to make stew meat out of it. You can get yeah. fillets, all that good stuff. Curry. Look at this. Look at that. Vincenzo's famous meatballs can be kangaroo meat. Kangaroo. So, like, kind of like we have bison in the States. It's grass fed, it's lean, and it's very sustainable. Same thing with kangaroos here. Well, it's wild, you know? Yeah, exactly. So you know that they eat well, you know? Exactly. They don't eat. Everything is organic. They don't need GMO like and corn and so <laughs> Yes, uh, mostly organic. So that's really cool. And then if we come over here, you guys. Now, I was telling Vincenzo about this earlier, and he got kind of upset about it. Upset? <laughs> I'm moving to USA. So this is grass-fed 100% Australian lamb. And we have this in the States at Costco for cheaper than you guys have it here in Australia. You guys, it's $32.50 per kilo, so about $16 per pound. At Costco in the US, it's $13 a pound for the same exact one. I hope the government, the Australian government is watching. Yeah, I don't know, I feel like you guys are getting duped here. We are. But it is really good we stuff. Are. The grass-fed beef and the lamb yeah. is delicious. So wow. the price is not very no good happy here. With that. Okay. And Coles is a, probably one of the better prices around too, It's right? actually good. I have to say, the quality here at Coles, it's, deli it's amazing. Yeah, but the fact the that we're getting cheaper lamb than you is ridiculous. It is ridiculous. <laughs> Um, but then let's talk about the beef here. So Vincenzo, show them the color difference here. This is fascinating. So let's compare the brands. You got an organic brand here. That's an organic brand. Look mm. how beautiful. That's the color. That's nice. It should be. Yep. Red, pink, that's fresh, nice. This is another one that it says 100% grass fed. And some people translate this to organic. Right. But look at the difference. Look at the color. Something's not adding up. It's right. Very it looks like it's sick. Yeah, so and compare that to the regular mints here. And then, yes, I this want to show you this. Day. Look how terrible and thin this is. Look at, look at the right. difference between these three. So obviously the grass fed is better for you because it has higher nutrients, it has uh, higher uh, sustainability. But if you look at the color between the two, you can just see that it's worth spending the double the price because it's better for you. Yes, 100%. And so that's really interesting though. Something's wrong with this grass Something fed. Something wrong. Though. So no, we'll have to uh, investigate. Clevers. Yeah, for Clevers clever is where it's at. So yeah, Clevers, <laughs> we're clever, we eat it. So that's all we got to say on that. All right, something I find super interesting is that in this entire wall of butter here, they don't have one grass-fed butter. It's Very the land of grass-fed beef, grass-fed lamb, but all you have is this fancy organic Australian butter, the fancy New Zealand butter. But read the label, there's no mention of grass-fed, which I find really crazy because this stuff is $7 for this small packet here. I mean, I can get grass-fed Irish butter at home yeah. for like a fraction of that price. I'm, so. I'm, I'm really upset. Uh, See, well, you're educating us about this. Yeah. See, I never noticed. I come here, I buy any butter. You yeah. think uh, any butter is the exactly. same? Exactly. Grass. Grass-fed, yeah. So maybe other stores, so maybe Woolworths have that maybe? Look, I don't even know. Even if you look at a product like this, it looks so fancy. It looks fancy, really fancy. But... The butter aisle at Kohl's, a little disappointing. All right, so Vincenzo, one thing we always like to talk about are the eggs at the yeah, grocery store. Yeah, I like the way you call them. These I call the crappy eggs, because they are. <laughs> so these are the caged eggs here for $3 a dozen. Vincenzo, That's in, a lot of money. in the U.S., you can get a dozen of these for 99 cents. Wow, that means I can make pasta for a lot of people. You could, but you wouldn't want to use $3. these for pasta. I can make pasta for These are the New ones York. that never go outside. <laughs> now show us the ones from the Coles that yeah. are actually pasture-raised. Yeah. They go outside. Yeah, so look. The Colts brand, free range, extra large, it's a top quality. For the price that you're, you know, right. for what you're paying, it's good. $4.20, yeah. close to organic, free range, but 10,000 ends per hectare. Right, so you actually start to read the fine detail like we do, 
they kind of stuff a decent amount of eggs in there. And what's interesting, free range in the U.S. does not mean they go outside. No? It's a marketing gimmick. Ah. You want to look for pasture raised. But here, free range actually means they, they go do. outside. Yes. But we found, me, Suzanne, and Vincenzo found a brand we really like here. These guys here, Lucky Chicken Eggs. Top brand. Top brand because they're certified. They only have 1,500 birds per hectare. And they're pasture raised or free range. Six ninety is not a bad deal. No, um, and they're going to have the, probably the most flavor, the most nutrition, because the birds that actually go outside and have the more room yes. have more nutrition per yes. egg. So that is really interesting here. Um, That's a good buy, and about the same price as the U.S. too. So on that one, oh, you're winning. Okay. okay, congrats to us. That's Aussie good. On that That's one. good. <laughs> That's you're good. not getting ripped off on that now, one. What about this one, my friend? Well, this is we, something we need to talk about. Yeah. So this is all packaging and marketing gimmicks, which we don't like. Huh? Right? Veg for families. Got the beautiful picture there. But look, a vegetarian. Yeah, I always Aww. tell people, what do you think the chickens are eating? Steak and potatoes? <laughs> They're going to eat veggies no matter what. Vegetarian. So we don't care about that. You're paying for the marketing, and it's the same price as the other ones that are actually good. Yes. So put these down. But they have 10,000 ends. Yeah, 10,000. Same like the Colts one. Yeah, 10,000 So you're losing $2.30. Well said. Wait, well, it's the same one like Colts. Yep. So buy the Colts one. Agreed. Buy the Coles one or trade up and get the real yes, free range you, ones. Yes, if you can, yeah. if you can afford it. Yes. All right, so we've been talking about hummus in recent haul videos. Yeah. And you would think in hummus they would use what kind of oil, Vincenzo? Well, you expect extra virgin, you know? I'm yeah. sure that's what they do in Lebanon or the Middle East. That's what they do in the Middle East. But here, they use canola oil and veggie oil and cheap processed oil. Disgusting. They I'm do wondering that. what chickpeas they use. I don't even know about that, but the reason they're using this oil is because it's so darn cheap. But it's highly processed and highly bad for you. But we did just find Big one no, brand no. here that does use olive oil, this pill pell, which is really cool. The only problem is look at the price. It's six fifty for this little container, whereas this is seven dollars for the big tub. Yeah. So unfortunately they're making you pay through the roof for the olive oil one. But I would still get it over this because this one is toxic. All right, we're in the health food aisle, which oh, is yeah. really interesting. Because if we look at something that's getting really popular in Aussie, veggie crisps. But Suzanne, can you see the ingredients in that? There's vegetable oil, sugar, maltodextrin, and yeast extract. Those are words for preservatives. Those are words for MSG and really crappy yeah. oil. So I'm getting scared. Yeah, it's vegan too. That's forget about it. Doesn't mean anything. No. We come down here. They do have some really cool stuff down here. Yeah. Like extra virgin coconut oil. The only scary thing is the $20. price. $20 for this? Guys, in the US. I have to sell my car to buy this. Yeah. In the US, we can get a bottle four times the size of this for $15. And good stuff. Really good stuff. Uh, and they have the coconut oil spray here, but we never want to buy oils in this kind of bottle because they use aerosol chemicals no. to propel yeah. it. Mm. And they actually don't have the natural propellant one here, which is kind of a bummer. Mm. But they do have, check it out, coconut flour. Really good stuff. Paleo, gluten free, and keto. They have almond flour, but this price is scary, you guys. It's $10. Yeah, that's what we pay. We make the Amorati with that. Yeah, yeah, that's this how much is, we pay. This is good stuff. You pay $10 a it's pack for this? Yeah. Wow. So if they have the good stuff here, they have coconut sugar, but man, it's much more expensive than the U.S. It is expensive. At least they have it. If you can afford it, that's the good stuff, but man, that's going to hurt the wallet, huh? Yeah. I feel bad I'm for Danny, man. I feel Look, bad I'm, for I'm, him. I want to move to USA <laughs> right now. <laughs> All right, they do have some really good honey here because we in do. Australia and New Zealand, they have raw natural organic local honey and look vincenzo just found this really cool raw honey yeah. with the honeycomb in there for 850 and they have a bunch of other I have ones a question here. for you see it doesn't say organic but it looks like it's more organic than everything else organics I mean, it doesn't matter because the bees are naturally going into sure. flowers anyway so that's totally a marketing gimmick you don't have to worry about that you don't have to honey. worry about that no okay. um and then sticking in this kind of aisle over here check this out vincenzo Show i'm me. actually very impressed with the coles brand peanut butter because this is the way peanut butter should be. Look, there's one ingredient, peanuts, organic peanuts. And then something really interesting about the natural nut butter is Vincenzo, tell the tip that your wife Suzanne just told us. Yeah. Thanks Suzanne. Yes. So when you're halfway, uh -huh. what do you do? You don't store it like this, upside down. So the oil, the oil. keeps the beautiful peanut butter nice and moist yeah because otherwise you get halfway through the container and it's dry and hard like nah, a brick no one not. not anymore thanks to vincenzo's wife so thank you for that <laughs> you, suzanne. suzanne and then we probably should have suzanne tell us about this but you guys this is australia and this is vegemite 
Oh my God. What is the best way to describe what Vegemite really is? Okay, I've been here for 12 years and the best way to describe it is stay away from it. <laughs> <laughs> I can't eat it. It's like what is it? it? I mean, it even comes in the squeezable tube here like this. I mean, it has a ton of ingredients. A lot aren't really good for you. I mean, it's basically supposed to be like a fortified vitamin, vitamin spread, but correct me if I'm wrong, Suzanne, this is supposed to be really good for hangovers too. <laughs> that's true. Okay, so this on some bread after you had way too many pints of beer is probably all it's good for. So it's healthy when you are drunk. Drunk. That's it helps about you. Okay, it, okay. Yeah, that's when it it's healthy. Strong, strong <laughs> stuff. Just a little schmear will do you, but man, you got to drink a lot to have that. All right, Vinny? All right, you guys, this is super interesting and very Aussie specific macadamia nut oil. It's a really cool oil because it has a high smoke point. Yeah. Has this nice mild roasted nutty flavor. Yeah. But we don't even get this in the US don't. because macadamia nuts are not native to the US. Uh, trade ins, yeah. And super, super expensive. But here it's 10 bucks for this yeah. bottle, which isn't that bad. Yeah. If you want a heart healthy oil, this is where it's at. Well, I have to tell you one thing everything in America is cheaper than here. So um, I'm sure almost. if you import macadamia <laughs> oil right. to USA, it will be cheaper. That's the mentality. I like <laughs> the way Vinny's thinking there. A good one. <laughs> All right, the herbs are pretty much standard from the U.S., except for this one, you guys. It's really cool. You can buy prepackaged curry leaves. These are great for uh, Indian cooking, making the oil really fragrant. I mean, you can find this in the U.S. in yeah. like uh, Asian markets or Indian markets. Right. But at the normal grocery store, you market. can't. So that's pretty cool. Okay. Um, but not cool. Guys, this is yeah. going to be painful. This is not cool. The price of some of these produce items is scary. Cauliflower. You can get a head of cauliflower in the U.S. for about two dollars or two fifty. Here it's three fifty. Not even organic. Mm, that's a good point. Vincenzo, what is going? on? I don't know. I stopped using celery. Celery is the best ingredient for my tomato sauce. The price went this. from one fifty to five ninety. I don't know what's happening, but that nobody's is. eating celery anymore. This is so. criminal. So yeah, that's wrong. And then look at this, you guys. It's three fifty for one bunch of spinach. Man, if you want to get your greens on in Sydney, it's going to cost you a pretty penny. I mean, Popeye the Sailor Man would have a go broke eating that amount of spinach. Let's talk really quick about almond milk. You guys, this is one of the best almond milks I've ever seen because normally almond milk is mm. full of emulsifiers because right. it's kind of watery and loose. Mm. It has guar gum or lecithin in it. Mm. If you look at the ingredients real quick, they don't have any of that stuff. It's really clean and Suzanne just said it's a great price, $3.40. If you compare that to this brand, which she said is kind of top notch, like yeah. this has tons of emulsifiers yeah. and lecithin and stuff that thickens it. So that's a no no. You know so much, Bobby. <laughs> this guy knows so much. There's too much in my head right now. But uh, Vincenzo was just asking about soy milk. Yeah. It's the same brand and all that stuff, yeah. but we don't drink soy milk because soy comes from GMO soy. Mm. It's very controversial and not so good for you. So. And, and soy for the guys, uh, that's another issue. Not right? good for us. Not good for us. So okay. we stay away from that kind of yes. stuff. <laughs> All right, you guys, it's not quite midnight, but we are done yeah. with the Coles grocery haul. A big thank you to Vincenzo for showing me all around here. Big thanks to you for coming to Australia. That's right. Vincenzo's yes. been showing me the sights in Sydney, and I love it. Yeah, Coles uh, and... <laughs> Coles and Bondi Beach. Yeah, I have to say, goes, right? it's been fun to spend time with you. It's the first time I do this. He is the best. <laughs> Hilarious, and he knows a lot about food. Nutritional values. Thank you, Bobby. Thank you. But we will see you soon. Until then, hashtag keep on cooking. Mad love. Later, guys.